breakfast stroke lunch of kings. Nice. Afternoon, everybody. I've just had the biggest breakfast stroke lunch because it is dinner time now in the world. Pogged, probably will eat later today now. Um, just wanted a bit of an update. I've been down to see the foal. I went last night as well, but it was getting dark, so I didn't film anything. Just went down, gave it some carrots, checked it were okay, and came back. Um, I spent a few minutes with it today before filming, and uh, it seems it seems a lot better, as in not as fearful. Its eyes are calmer, but there weren't as many fireworks went off last night. I think I said this in the vlog bit that I did earlier. Um, but sounds like it's got colic. So I've just googled how to treat colic in horses naturally. And it seems giving, non, giving it no herbs is not going to help it. It needs fresh hair, it needs fresh water. They suggest offering salt blocks to make it drink more. Well, it doesn't have any bloody water or hair. So don't leave water out for them. They come and give them water and grain or whatever they give them twice a day and that's it. Some of them only come once a day. So now I'm like, I don't know, should I persist on ringing RSPCA because I've rang three times now, just don't get any answer. So I might be ringing the wrong number, I need to double check that actually. Or I might just take a ride up to East Arsley and go speak to them down at the centre. Um, well, it's not the main switchboard like, but it might be our advice. Um, I don't know, it might have also just choked on a bit of Russell Sprout that I gave it. But it didn't sound like a choke, it, it sounded like a chesty, colicky cough. Anyway, you'll see the video and uh, see what you think. So I'm heading back to base today because the van's going into the garage at 10 o'clock in the morning for my new, new handle putting on. So fingers crossed it stays on this time. <laughs> oh, I'm expecting the bloody road tax bill to come any minute, which I'm not happy about. I need some work coming in, guys. If anybody knows of any online work, or if anybody wants any a reading or therapies or whatever, obviously banners, you're going to get a discount. Um, just hit me up. I've added my email address to the description. Probably won't be on this video just yet because I have to upload it. Then I have to go onto my laptop and do all the stuff on there. So, um, But I'll add my email address for those of you that don't have me on Facebook or Instagram. Just hit me up if you know of anything, even if it's like a farm, and that would be that would love, I would love that. I would love that, but it needs to be paid. And you know, once I've applied for, I've all been voluntary, and we've got a place to stay and hook up and stuff, which is I don't have hook up anyway, but it, it's nice, you know. But I need money, I need money to survive, I need money to put in diesel, I need money to buy food. and Freaking puppy pads have doubled. They were three pound fifty for a bag of fifty. Where we're getting them from, and they've gone up to six quid. It's madness, madness. So there is a link for buying me a coffee if anybody would like to do that and help out in any little way because Christmas is coming. I can't even afford to buy my daughter a freaking Christmas present, and I've not been with them for six years. So, and I can't make, usually I buy, I make, not from Tasha, but for friends and stuff, I make homemade jams and marmalades and all sorts of stuff. And living in the van, I can't do it. I've nowhere, one, I've nowhere to store the jars until Christmas. And two, I've not got a freezer to store the fruit. <laughs> you know, when I had the hours, I used to gather blackberries and elberries and stuff and, and freeze it and, until I, it was time to make jams. Um, and plus, like marmalade, takes hours to make. So, and it's so messy. <laughs> it's fun, but it's messy. Um, and obviously, I've only got a six kilogram gas bottle, 
so you've got to put, got to put stuff on to simmer for two hours and and boil jars and stuff it's, you know it's it's too much in van really i need an income first and then i can do that sort of stuff because then i don't have to worry about the gas running out and buying more gas at 26 quid a bottle and, well that's what this last one was hopefully that's not gone up again because it's a six kilogram bottle it's ridiculous cypress you get a 15 kilogram bottle for 15 quid <laughs> Well, 15 euros, which is even less. So that's like, what, 13, 14 quid? Anyway. Um, yeah, if you hadn't have had all the repairs initially on the van when I first got it and to get through MRT, I would have had that money left over now to live on until I get sorted. But my diesel is still not fixed. I sent the part. And it didn't come with the socket, whatever it's called, socket -y thing, and the gauze to fit it. So I've emailed them. I'm going to keep this one anyway as a spare. And then I'll have to order a full kit. I did email them saying I'm going to send it back, but um, I think I'm going to keep it as per suggestions. So I suppose it's handy to have a spare, and once I get the socket thing, uh, I can always replace replace it then, hopefully, um, if it goes again. But today's not too cold. It's on a night. It gets really cold, and on a morning, I get my clothes out of the cupboards and the damp. Not fun. The joys of van life. But <laughs> hopefully, in the next few days, I'm going to make a little video. I should make notes while it's all fresh in my head, really. But, of course, I'll just ramble like I do when monkey brain goes off on tangents. <laughs> but, um, instigated by my friend Tola, and it's about my cat, but it's about the human race. <laughs> and van line first. Interesting. Maybe not. Maybe I'll forget to write notes, which I'm very likely to do right now, because <laughs> I'm exhausted, but um, I've got things to do. I've got to go get water from somewhere and get back down to base and uh, get set up and ready for the morning because it takes me two hours on the morning. I've got to sort Louie and see, take Storm out for a poo and and then get to the garage for 10 o'clock, feed him, and then get to the garage. So it's, uh, I did manage to get up this morning for sun, sunrise you can't really see it <laughs> so, whatever anyway have a great week people and um stay safe happy travels and thank you all for subscribing and please let me know what you think i should do about this fall take care bye morning guys we've come back to see my little pony then yesterday as well but um I've got to leave today. Here we go. He's having uh, sprouts, but that's the only thing I've got left until I go shopping. <laughs> like some sprouts, don't you? Eh? It's going to be a farty mess later. Oh, you've dropped a couple, haven't you? Mm. Chew that one first. Thought he'd gone actually when I got down here, I couldn't see him in this oh, I don't want that one, okay you got to still finish chewing that one first, ain't you? Hey? hang on, that's my toes under there no, he's sniffing my hand oh, oh no, it's my jacket don't eat my jacket <laughs> yeah, there you go that's the last one. Oh, you dropped it right in your poo oh, I don't want that well, that's in your pool. Let me get it. Let me get this pool. Oh, oh now I've dropped it in your pool. There you go. Good baby. There's one behind your feet as well, what you dropped. Hmm. Oh, no, you're sniffing my hand. Yeah, I haven't got any more. 
I'm going to see you in a couple of days now. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, I think it's going to be all right, to be honest. It's looking a lot happier than it was before bonfire night. Still not been able to get hold of RSPCA. So, I know. I don't know what to do. Any thoughts? But it looks happy enough now, its eyes are brighter. Hmm? Not been no, too many bangs last night, with a Well, there were a few, but. You've dropped it, you see, look. Oh. Yeah. You got, oh, bless you. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, that's not colic. Oh shit. That's not good. Hey. It's not good, is it? Hey. It's not good, that baby, that cough. Sounds a bit colicky to me. Alright, so I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go now. I'll see you in a couple of days. Okay?